<laughs> now we're going to talk about books and ebooks. Okay, I, I've got 15 ebooks out, both or, and print books, both fiction and nonfiction. There was a time when just the, they called them the big six of publishers ruled the printing industry. You know, and you couldn't get your foot in the door. To get a publishing contract, you had to have an agent. To have an agent, you had to have a publishing contract. It was kind of the, the chicken and the egg thing. Your chances of getting a book printed or published traditionally were slim and none. Slim just left town. Um, it was just very, very, very hard to do that. But right now, we're in the middle of a technological revolution, like I said. Print on demand technology, ebooks, it's all changing. It's changing rapidly. And the publishing industry is dying. You know, I have had, I've got a lot of nonfiction books out. You know, work your way across the USA, the Fruit of Way back before we went on the road. Woke up one morning, I told her, I had this weirdest dream. She said, what did you dream? I said, I dreamed that there was a armored car that got hijacked in the Salt River Canyon. And the two guards got killed. And she said, then what happened? I said, I don't know, I woke up. But you know, you have a dream sometimes, and you kind of remember you had a dream, but it was it's kind of foggy. This was so crystal clear. The next night, I dreamed some more of it. And I told her, I had that same dream, but it just is like watching a mini series in my head. And this happened over four or five nights. And she said, You need to write that down. So, so I went ahead and I put it online as an ebook. And right away, when I said I did it, we sold a couple hundred copies, which is nice. That was very nice. Price was 90, 99 cents. And every month it sold, you know, a couple hundred copies. I was making 35 cents a copy. Not big, but hey. It was, you know, go out to dinner once in a while money. And then in October of that year, because I put it in in May, it just took off. And I mean, it just took off. All, it went from selling maybe 150, 200 copies a month to selling like 4,000 copies in October. Wow. November, it sold 12,000 copies. December, it went crazy. Jeez. And I got a phone call from Amazon that Congratulations, Big Lake made the New York Times bestseller list. So I'm like, wow, <laughs> how could that possibly happen? And I just got lucky. And I went from there, I, now I have four Big Lake books out, and I'm working on the fifth. There's Big Lake, the second one's Big Lake Lynching, Big Lake, Crazy Days in Big Lake, and Big Lake Blizzard. So I'm getting 35 cents a book, so what? And she said, Mom, he sold 100,000 books. You know, he's always been so talented. <laughs> <laughs> the old technology of using a printer. You, find, you found a book printer to print your book. You were going to pay for, the, usually the minimum run usually was 10,000 copies. And you were going to pay about $3 a copy. That's $3,000 in printing, not counting, counting setup and everything else. On print on demand, this book cost me about three seventy-five. dollars What did I say? Huh? Including shipping. Yes, right. But I don't have to have 10,000 of them sitting around someplace. Mm -hmm. And I can, I can just go online, I can order my books, they get there in about a week's time. So, do not proofread your own book. You <laughs> cannot proofread your own stuff. Mm -hmm. You want a proofreader to go through that thing with a fine tooth comb. You want someone to really look at it. Then you want an editor. Now in my case, I'm lucky that Terry's a proofreader and an editor. She does a great job. One of the review sites said, We've never read such a good book with such an ugly cover before. <laughs> <laughs> so Dale Roberts, who uh, Dale Roberts is an author friend of mine, he does the following, which is a very good book. He did this cover for me. Invest in a good cover. Okay, so what kind of books sell? I have 15 books out. Five of them are fiction. Ten are nonfiction. My nonfiction are like. The ones you see here, there's one called Meandering Down the Highway, Our Life is Full-Time RVers. Our first year on the road is what it is. Uh, I have two out, Highway History and Back Road Mystery, and Highway History and Back Road Mystery, two. I love those books. They're those little stories we write about in the paper. You know, the little oddball stories we, that we've done. Love those books. I, I would love to do five or six more of them. None of them sell well. For every fiction book, for every non-fiction book I sell, I'll sell hundreds of fiction books. Tour, do book signings. That's up to you. If you don't market your book, it won't sell. That's the problem. 
all there is to it. And the real work starts, writing the book's easy. Getting the formatting done on the covers, that's all easy. The real work starts when you start marketing. You must market every day. Not just today, not just tomorrow, not just next week. Every day. You know? Uh, you may not even make if you're sixty thousand dollars a year, but that's entirely possible. Like I said, most of my author in my author's group is doing more than that. So it's enough to live off of or supplement your income or whatever. If you do the things we're talking about, you may not be the next Colleen Hoover, the next Russell Blake, the next J.K. Rowling, but you can very easily be a mid-list author and make money at it.